I made these really state-of-the-art uh, platforms here for me to walk on. This took a lot of engineering. Basically, you just lay a board on top of a set of tires. I'm going to wipe this off since it's been sitting overnight and make sure there's no dust on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw that on there. Two ounces and a, a pint, I think. We'll see. And is it rough or roof? I don't know. Top of the car. So last time I did this, I think I basically put in about that much flake. Looks cool. An ounce and a half. Now I remember. So I'm going to get this mixed up, get my gun reassembled after cleaning it for the cleaning out all the sealer. Since I only have the one gun I'm using, and you really want to tear it down in between painting and clean it pretty well. Um, in a home shop, it's pretty essential. Keep shaking your gun, the flakes will settle down to the bottom of the clear. I think I put more flake in it this time. It's spitting and sputtering. Low coating, yeah. Sand this sucker with 600 again, just like we did the hood and the trunk. Well, the hood and the trunk I did eight, but there's really no reason why you can't use six. Cut it down a little faster, just get the job done. Sand everything down with 600. Put a one quick level coat of uh, the wet, wet clear on there. A stupid name. And then buff it. And the whole top will be done, finally. Sanded. 600. Clear. Wet, wet. Stupid name. One man. One shot. One coat. One gun. One roof. Let's do it. After this roof is painted and I get my windshield back in, I'm going to take a break from working on this thing so much and clean my garage a little bit so I can work on it some more and dirty it up. Alright, I like it. Maybe uh it up just a touch. Alright, 
There it is. All right, let's get this scary crap over with. There it is. I had pretty good luck with this one. I was really worried about it just because of the size of that. But I think it turned out pretty good. Um, there's a little dry spot over there that I noticed from standing over here. I seen it in the light. So I went over there and I shot it with some clear just to cover it. But when you do that, the edges of your fan pattern on your gun leave dry spots. Hopefully that'll buff out all right. I think it will. I got to do pretty serious buffing to it anyway, just because of the amount of dirt that I get in this stuff. Um, so I think it'll come out no problem. But it looks pretty good. But you can kind of see a little bit of dry spray on it. But yeah, pretty happy with it. And then I'll, uh, really, I mean, the dirt on this isn't as bad as the, the hood and the trunk. But I was using this high-tech ventilation system. Um, multi thousand dollar ventilation system um, seemed to actually help out quite a bit I just crapped o cracked open uh, crapped open I just cracked open that window over there and blew it out here and there was a pretty good stream of air coming through there which I think helped out a lot so that's good to know it would probably be smart to put a filter on that window just hang one over it so it doesn't suck up any dust from outside, but it's raining outside today, so I think that helped out quite a bit. I had a little bit of clear left over in my gun, so I went ahead and shot the, the grill surround. Pretty happy with the way it looks with clear on it. I wasn't too sure about it with uh, just the, the flake, but it was really rough looking. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and keep that now pretty happy with the way that looks um, I ordered a, a quart of the green that I think I'm gonna use in the sides um, it's a, called synergy green it's a, I think it's a Camaro color like a 2010 Camaro color really bright green um, I think I'm gonna do that on the sides but I ordered just a quart of it just to spray some uh, test shapes so I got a few of these shapes that I painted one half with the green from the roof and I'm gonna paint the other half with the synergy green and I got a few spares here so I can if I don't like the synergy green I'm gonna go ahead and order up some more colors until I find something I like to kind of contrast the, the flaked out top next I think I'm gonna of course buff the roof and then I'm going to unmask the car, pull the headliner out, uh, take a trip down to the fabric store, which is always fun seeing me in a fabric store. Uh, go down there and try to look for something cool to wrap the headliner in. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of options here in Des Moines, Iowa uh, on custom fabrics. I'm sure I could order something online, but I really like to see fabrics and stuff like that in person. Um, online is just it's hard to tell what it's gonna look like I might just end up doing like a black suede type material uh, but if I can if I can find something cool looking um, a little more fun like a, a green or something I might consider that but I think for now I'm probably just gonna go with a, a black suede type material pull the headliner out through the front which would be a lot easier do that and then I got my buddy ordering the windshield for it. So we should be able to put the windshield in hopefully next weekend. 
and get the headliner. Give me a week to do the headliner. And uh, then I'm going to cruise the car for probably a week. I'm going to actually drive it and enjoy it for a little bit. I'm kind of missing it. I got the suspension done, and then I just started tearing into it where I can't even drive it. So I'm going to enjoy the car, and then I'm going to clean up this whirlwind of a garage. And uh, then I'll get back on the car and start doing the sides. The sides are going to be more work just because there's more damage um, and there's stuff to take off. So I got to take off, you know, I'm probably going to take off the door handles. I know I got to take off the mirrors at least. I got to pull the mirrors for sure. I'll probably take off the door handles. I'll probably take off the surround on the side windows. I need to unbolt the quarter glass windows to spray there. And then I'm going to pull the bumpers off of it. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to pull the bumpers off of it. It would probably make more sense. So that's what's next. But for a little while, I'm just going to drive the car. Have fun.